This one happens to be a pile of plants belonging to a genus called Kenopodium. Uh, people who are into diets uh, probably know this plant because it's the genus to which quinoa belongs, or quinoa, the uh, vegetable uh, consisting of the seeds of uh, one of the species of this plant. Anyway, one of the world's authorities on Kenopodium has been here a couple of weeks ago and she has told me that all of the specimens here have to be relabeled because the, on the basis of DNA studies they have been shown no longer to be uh, in Kenopodium but in, they're in, a, in the same family of plants but they've been put in a different genus. And this is happening because of DNA work uh, all over the place uh, and it's made a lot of extra work for us. For example, the sunflower family, the Asteraceae, is the largest family of uh, dicot flowering plants. And it's been uh, a lot of work for us because we have had to move things from the genus Aster, for example, which is one of the main genus, perhaps, uh, in the Asteraceae, one of the main genera. And it, it has been broken up and moved all over uh, into other genera. And we're now working on the grasses, which have also been divided on the basis of the DNA work. This makes a lot of uh, labor for the herbarium. One of the things we need to do is to what they call digitize this whole collection. That is, the, every sheet should be photographed and there should be information in a computer system that enables you to retrieve information about the sheets in here. For example, uh, the lady who was working on the kennepods gave me a list of the plants that she wanted to borrow to work on them in her, where she lives, which is in San Diego, California. And she gave me a list of the specimen numbers, but not the names of the plants, of the, of the, of the individual sheets that she wanted. And since our herbarium is not digitized, I can't recover it with that information. I have to have a list of the species. So she then sent me a list of the actual species so I can go and find the individual sheets.